Hey, what's up guys? Airsoftman819 here again with another video. Um, haven't really done anything for a while, so I figured I'd make this uh, little video just for uh, something to do, a little something to pass the time. So, um, as you guys know, I did a video, well actually it's been a couple years ago now, about a uh, PC that I was going to upgrade and make into like a more powerful like gaming type PC. Um, that PC has since pretty much gone out of date. So um, I decided it was about time to build a new PC. So that's what this is right here. Um, I, my original plan was to upgrade the old one to get it to basically work just to get me through until I could build something nicer. But I just decided to go ahead and build a new computer from scratch. So that's what this is. All new parts. Um, before we get to this one, I'm going to show you guys the uh, old PC so you guys know what I'm talking about. There's Aaron. Say hi, Aaron. Hi. Here's the old PC. Like I said, I made a video about it a couple years ago. It is um, more than served its purpose. Um, all the videos I've done up to this point have been made using this PC. And it's still going to be used in some capacity, uh, mostly just as a, a media center. I'm going to hook it up to my television and use it for movies and YouTube and stuff like that. But it's still going to be used. But uh, the specs on this computer are... It's got a 350 watt Rosewell power supply. It's got 8 gigabytes of um, 1600 RAM DDR3. It's got a uh, 1 gigabyte DDR3 graphics card, which is pretty weak. Um, and it's got a uh, Intel Core 2 Quad 80, Q8200, which is a quad core processor. It's a good processor. It's just really old now and out of date. Um, the, the motherboard socket and everything is out of date. Um, the motherboard um, express slot was um, so out of date that it wouldn't even accept a new graphics card, which is one, one reason I decided to retire this PC from uh, use. So, um, like I said, it's still going to be used, but mostly just as a, a media center PC hooked up to my television. Um, I got a fresh install of Windows running on it right now to uh, clean out the hard drive and stuff and get it ready to hook up to the TV. So with that out of the way, we're going to be talking about this PC, which uh, obviously looks much uh, looks much different. Um, so I decided because um, <clears throat> I'm not rich and I was kind of on a budget, so I decided to go with an AMD setup on this computer. I apologize that the lighting's not very good. I'm not using any official lighting or anything. So basically, I went th I went for the mid range on this PC. It's not a cheap PC by any means, but it's also not a very high end PC. It's pretty well mid range gaming PC levels. Um, everything is pretty much mid range. The case is mid range. It's a Thermal Lake Snow Com Commander Snow or something like that. I can't remember. I don't have the box to actually read what the official designation for this case is, but. Um, it's basically a case that they had on sale. I like the look of it. Um, I like the white and the black and the window on the side here. Um, it also has quite a bit of uh, space to mount fans. Uh, this fan obviously is not the right size. It's just a little turbo fan that I had from the old computer that I have here for the moment to help keep the graphics card cool. It's got a couple mounts on top for I believe uh, 120s. Sorry, the side of the case is already starting to fall off because I have the... Uh, mounting points loose. It's got three drive bays on the front. I kind of like the grill texture on the front there. Um, I just This is a brand new DVD drive. This is all brand new. Um, I uh, originally built this using some of the old parts from the other PC but I just decided to um, replace all of those with new parts. So that way I have two working computers instead of just one. It's a Thermal Lake case by the way. You have USB 2 and 3 in the front, also with a front mounted audio, AMD FX processor, I'll talk to you guys about that in a sec. You have your uh, reset button right here, you have your power button right here. Uh, there's no window on the other side, there's just a window on one side. We have the back here, um, it includes a 120mm uh, LED fan, which is pretty cool. Does not Did not include a power supply, which... Cases that include power supplies I do not like because normally the power supply is a piece of junk anyway. So we have all of the ports from the motherboard. Two USB 3s and four USB 2s. I also have a USB uh, Wi-Fi card in the back here. Kind of a cheap Wi-Fi card but it still does the job. You have your audio on the back here as well. Um, I believe this is for liquid cooling. I'm not sure. You have several 
slots here for expansion. It's a bottom mounted power supply. So we'll go ahead and crack the side of the case open so you guys can see exactly what's on the inside of it. Because that's what everyone cares about anyway. Um, one thing I don't like about the side of this thing is it doesn't fit, it doesn't seem like it fits on very securely. I mean, it does have hand screws down there, but like the fitment of the bottom and the top right here just doesn't seem very flush. I don't know. I just, it doesn't feel like this thing's on very well, which I mean, for buying a cheap case, that's what I get. There's that little, um, Enermax turbo fan has a turbo setting on it on the side here. You can adjust between 2800 and 1600 RPMs. I have it on 1600 right now, but I can switch it whenever I feel like pulling the side off here. All right, so here are the guts. Um, I went with a Gigabyte 78 LMT uh, USB 3 um, AM3 motherboard. Um, it's kind of an older motherboard. It uses DDR3 RAM as opposed to DDR4, which uh, DDR4 is the new craze right now. Um, I mean, DDR4 is faster, but um, just because it's faster doesn't completely put DDR3 out of date quite yet. So I decided to go with the cheaper DDR3 option. DDR3 RAM is still pretty good. I got some 2400. Um, I got some EVGA 2400 speed DDR3 in right DDR3 in there right now. Um, it's only eight gigs. I plan on getting another set. That way I can upgrade it to 16 right now. But it's only got eight. Um, I got the stock CPU cool, uh, CPU cooler on it right now because I don't plan on overclocking it right now. Um, if I do plan on overclocking it, I'll probably get a aftermarket cooler. But the processor I decided to go with um, was an FX 6300. Um, it's an older processor, but it's a well-proven processor, a six-core, uh, 3.5 gigahertz, and uh, it is unlocked, so I do have the ability to overclock if I decide to get a uh, aftermarket cooler. So I could easily overclock it to four gigahertz if I really want to. I have an EVGA 500 watt power supply down here, pretty run of the mill stuff. Um, but it's a good solid power supply with shielded wires and it has all the connections I need. So it's a good power supply, it can more than run anything in this case. So um, no big deal, there's the connections for the uh, disk drive. It's an LG disk drive, I got it on sale. Like I said, this is a pretty well budget build. Um, a Toshiba one terabyte hard drive, once again on sale. Um, 7200 with uh, 64 uh, megs of cash, I believe, or something like that, I'm not sure. Um, the case also has these quick mounts where you can twist that and pull that out and put a drive in, stick that back in and lock it, so I like the quick mounts, don't have to mess around with a whole bunch of screws and stuff, it's nice and quick and nice and easy. It's not really a whole lot I have mounted in here right now anyway. Um, the graphics card is probably the most lower end part of the entire um, PC. It's um, an MSI R7 360. Um, it's two gigabyte. This is the overclock edition. Um, it's a really good card. It's a mid-range card for the most part, um, but it's not quite as strong as I would prefer. I eventually am going to upgrade it, but it's a two gig um, DDR5 card. Um, I, I can't remember if it's 128 or if it's uh, 256 bit doesn't really say on the box I don't know like I said I just bought what was on sale let me see what it says on the box here by the way here's all the boxes and stuff in case you know some of you box fanatics are out there right now I don't know here's the uh, graphics card R7 360 just in case you guys want to pick some of this stuff up yourself uh, overclock edition um, it says 119 but I didn't pay that uh, there's the 500 watt power supply box there's my motherboard box Toshiba. I've actually never used a Toshiba hard drive before, so this is going to be my first experience with one. Um, I've not installed Windows on this since replacing the hard drive, so we're going to find out exactly how well this hard drive works. But um, it's a pretty decent build, especially for, I don't know, I've paid about $500 for everything so far. It'll probably continue to, to go higher, though, because I'm probably going to upgrade the graphics card again here soon, and I'm going to expand the RAM to 16 gigs as opposed to 8, but 8 is more than enough to get me through until then. So I mean, it's a pretty run-of-the-mill build, but I like it. Um, I like the way it looks, I like the way it performs as compared to my old, outdated PC. And overall, it's pretty much what I need right now. And uh, there's a lot of room for upgrades in the future if I want to do that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and uh, I'll have more videos to come here soon. Isn't that right, Aaron? Yeah, it is right. Ain't that right? That's right, my nigga. Alright. Alright, so I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.